Shalom, brothers and sisters. So let me just touch on a few things quickly. Um, obviously, we are at one of the highest watch times in the history of mankind. We really are. I don't care who says what. And I see even on this channel, they're creeping back into the comments. You, no man knows the day or hour. Or you shall not set dates and blah, blah, blah. No one's setting dates. We're just not blind and completely confused and sleeping. We are of the light and the day so that that day shall not overtake us. And we will not be hypocrites like the Pharisees and Sadducees when Jesus said to them, they did not know the hour of their visitation. Had they studied the word, they would have known this was the hour of their visitation. Even the wise men from the east knew that this was the hour of visitation and they, the great teachers and leaders of the Lord, did not. We will not be like that. We are awake. We have the Holy Spirit with us. We have Jesus. We have revelations being revealed to us. The books are unsealed and open for a time such as this. We are that final generation. Ha'akaron. We see the signs in the sky, in the stars. We see the wars, the rumors of wars, nations raging against nations. We see the mark of the beast forming. We see everything. We see famine. We see all the signs that the Lord is showing constantly to wake people up. We see the rise of evil and darkness. So yes, it is an extremely high watch, exciting time to be alive and to be awake in Jesus Christ and empowered and invigorated by the Holy Spirit. To be excited for His return. And you can't tell me... We shouldn't be like this. We should because we are so in love with him. We are so desperate to be reunited with him that we are that excited and we are searching and looking the whole time for him as we should and as we are commanded to watch and look and have our lamps trimmed and ready and burning full of oil, having that Holy Spirit with us. So that being said, I see as well in the community and on YouTube and everywhere they make a video and they say, right, we're definitely going in Yom Teruah. And then we don't. And then there's huge wailing and gnashing of teeth and attacking and everything going on. And the next wave of videos is already out saying we're definitely going in Day of Atonement. And if that passes, if the Lord wills and he tarries, then the next wave of videos is going to come out about tabernacles. And if that passes and if the Lord wills and he tarries because souls need to be saved... Then there's going to be Shemini Atzeret, and when that goes by, they're going to start reassessing and looking at Nisan again. My point being this, I will remain excited no matter what. I will keep looking up no matter what, and I am living more imminently than ever before in history. I am focused on the ministry. I am focused on reaching the lost and spreading the excitement. I'm focused on encouraging you, family. And teaching you and guiding you and making sure you're eating from the word and you're learning and you're delving deeper. So while you'll see all these videos just focused on that. I'll cover a teaching video on atonement. Then I will do tabernacles. And then I'll talk about Shemini Atzeret. But to give you an example. There was a last trump on Yom Teruah. Definitely. There is a last trump at the end of atonement. Absolutely. There is the trump that is going to be blown for the Jubilee year. Then if you get to Tabernacles, there's a final trump there at Tabernacles. And after Tabernacles, at Shemini Atzeret, it is the final trump, the last trump for the year. So do you understand how many? The trump that I'm waiting for is the trump blown by God. And that is not blown all the time. You can go and look in the Bible. Go do yourself an exercise. I'm not going to tell you how many times. And Todd, don't give it away. Go and look how many times God has blown the trumpet. That is the trump I'm waiting for. That trump that will sound, that will raise the dead. That is a special trump. There's someone a year ago or so, and, and we posted it on this channel. If you go dig for it, the Lord let him hear that trumpet. And he was a musician and he could recreate what he thinks it sounded like. And it was amazing. It gives you chills. Like I said, go dig. <laughs> I make a lot of videos. So it's in there somewhere. But that trump was amazing. Gave me cold shivers. So I'm excited and waiting as much as I want to slap that angel. But people, I'm not going to set a date. Not because I'm, no one knows the day or the hour. That day will not overtake us. We're living there. Nothing else is needed for the rapture to take place. We can go before this video goes live. 
That is how close we are. Whether people like it or not. And those that are not liking it are very comfortable in the world. As comfortable as a frog that was in a pot on the stove and it's getting warmer and warmer and it's going to boil it to death. They are comfortable. The rest of us see the boiling water. The rest of us know we can be saved. And it's not escapism. It's got nothing to do with escapism. The church has been suffering tribulation, trial, death, martyrdom for generations since the Lord left till now. And it's getting worse. Go look at this channel. I report on it regularly. It's happening all the time. So if you want to stay for Jacob's trouble, speak to the Lord. Stay. I am awed at the plan God has got to take us out and then to deal with Israel for the final time. Absolutely excited and happy. I've had enough. Seriously. Does that mean I would not be willing to push through the last few years in the absolute history of mankind? No. I'd probably die because I'd put my big mouth where no one wants it. But God is with me. And this I know. And it is that assurance of salvation and relationship with the Most High God that pushes me every day. And keeps me excited no matter what happens. No matter what breaks. No matter what funds run down. No matter what comes against you. No matter what pushes, no matter what spiritual forces rise, I'm wearing the full armor of God. I've got the Lord at my back above me and stepping in front of me. I've got the Holy Spirit with me. So bring it. I'm not afraid. I'm excited. Nothing you can do can stop me because I know that my story ends with Jesus in his arms. So stay encouraged. Don't do the emotional thing. He is coming at any second. Be excited. You should be. Keep looking at all the signs. Keep watching. It is an amazing thing for us to live through. We were born for a time such as this. So I hope this encourages you and gives you perspective in where we are at the moment. God bless. Have a great day. Shalom.